All right, so for today's video, I got a pretty short video, but it's also a very important video. So for those of you that watch my channel know that I love to see half-ton trucks plowing snow. I, I think they're great trucks for plowing snow. Fully capable, plenty of power. No reason why you shouldn't. There's a lot of guys that disagree with me on that. But anyway, one thing that I preach is that if you're gonna plow with a half ton, you should definitely do a leveling kit because you know the weight of the plow on the front brings the front end down. Some of these trucks like the Chevys just sit so low. You, there's no question you have to do a leveling kit because you know, if you don't do a leveling kit and you're driving down the road and your blade's only, you know, maybe a couple inches off the ground, you hit a bump and the plow touches the ground and say you hit a manhole or something like that and the plow trips, I mean, you, you could do some serious damage if you're going 40, 50 miles an hour. So leveling kit, half ton trucks, pretty much a must. So if you do a leveling kit, not just in a half ton, but any truck, even if it's a 250 or whatever, or a three quarter ton, you need to do an alignment. So I just did a two inch leveling kit in my Chevy 1500, and the other day I got around to doing an alignment on it, and they have a laser guided alignment system, and my alignment was definitely off after the leveling kit, which is what I expected, but here's the paperwork to prove that. So I want to make a recommendation on what I believe the best way to go about getting an alignment is. So what you should do, you should call around to a couple local alignment shops and you want to do a couple things. First off, you want to get some quotes. You want to find the cheapest place. I, I think that's a pretty common thing to do. But also when you call them on the phone, listen to them. Do they sound intelligent? Do they sound capable? And also ask them what type of alignment machine they have. If it's like a laser guided hunter machine which I think those are probably some of the best alignment machines out there and ask them more importantly, or well, also, you know, just as important if they include a printout of the before and after to see if they actually did anything. So what they do, they'll enter the VIN number of your vehicle and that'll give them all the relevant information. So, you know, I have a 2015 Chevy Silverado, so this is 2014 to 2017 Silverado. So looking at the acceptable tolerances here for the total tow, you can have between negative 0.05 inches and 0.15 inches total tow. Now my total tow was 0.36 inches and if I'm reading this correctly, um, my tow out was too far. So I was 0.21 inches over the acceptable tolerance. Now I use Bergen Tire and Mala, which they're located at 100 Franklin Turnpike in Mala, New Jersey. And I really like these guys. Um, I set up an appointment and they got me in really quick while I was waiting in the waiting room. And what they actually did, they came out with this printout sheet and they confirm with me, they're like, hey, this is what we found. We want to get your approval if you want to go ahead and, and do the alignment. Sometimes we bring up cars on the lift and they're aligned, you know, within specifications. So, you know, they don't require an alignment and we don't charge for that. So I gained a lot of respect for this tire place because they came out and asked, you know, if I wanted to go ahead and do that, which obviously I was there. We were out of, a, um, out of tolerance. So I told them, yeah, definitely go ahead and do the alignment. So they did the alignment and they brought the toe in to 0.06, which is pretty much right in the middle of um, where the acceptable tolerances are. And that was that. Now this did cost about $100 and it took them maybe 45 minutes, you know, from the time I got there to the time I left, which, you know, that's pretty decent turnaround time. It was a little bit expensive, but it's absolutely necessary to do this. And after I left the place driving down the road, I definitely felt the difference. I definitely felt the truck go, going straighter down the road and the front end felt a lot smoother. So definitely get an alignment after you do a leveling kit.